Welcome to the Parenting Roundabout Speed Round, where we answer a quick question every Wednesday through Friday to keep our group chat fun going all week long. So today we are asking about plot twists that have stunned you, and that can be uh, from shows long ago um, or shows today, uh, any kind of TV shows that you watch, and you there's been a plot twist, twist that has absolutely shocked you, and... Um, you might have to dig into the recesses yeah. of your of your mind for this one. <laughs> Catherine, do you have a have a plot twist that shocked you at one uh, point? Well, in time? there were there were definitely a bunch on Downton Abbey, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um, but the one that sprung to mind immediately was Melrose Place. Oh. <laughs> if you watch that show, the one with the wig <laughs> removal. <laughs> If you've watched the show, you'll know what I'm talking about, where the this character just pulls off this, what you've been thinking all along is her <laughs> real hair, and she pulls it off, and there's this gigantic, horrible scar all oh. down on her skull, <laughs> and it is, like, so oh my dramatic. Goodness. And um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, or even if you do, there is an episode of the Extra Hot Great podcast where... Um, one of the girls from the Fug Girls, Go Fug yeah. Yourself, um, discussed this episode as part of the, they have this thing called the mm-hmm. canon where they induct like exemplary episodes of TV into their canon. It is very entertaining to listen to. And that was indeed quite yeah. a plot oh. show. Interesting. How about you, Terry? Have you got I a have plot a lot of it. I mind? mean, I, I don't I watch so much TV now after the fact that stuff yeah. doesn't really stun me anymore. I mean, I'm sure if I had watched The Good Place in real time, the plot twist at the end of the first yes. season would have had my jaw on the floor. And I really kind of wish I could have seen that without yeah. having completely heard Same. all about it. It was still delightful. I, I you know, I'm still glad I watched it, but and and I watch a lot of things that way. And I, I sometimes I would rather be spoiled because I don't like suspense. So I will always look at things and mm-hmm. see what is happening. And I remember when I was younger, TV Guide always gave away everything that was going to happen in an episode. So it wasn't really so much, there wasn't really a lot of jaw dropping then either. I mean, certainly shows like Lost and, and Twin Peaks, I'm sure had, had big twists that kind of astonished me at the time. But, uh, there, I, what about Dallas? Did you not I was, get into I the did not watch Dallas? Dallas. I think I saw that episode at somebody's house I was staying with, but I knew it was going to happen for some reason. I think there's – spoilers didn't used to be as much of a thing, I think, yeah. as they are now. I think it would be – you would kind of know what was okay. going to happen, and that's why you would want to watch to see how it played out rather than, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that happened. But I will say that – I can't. We've been watching. Catherine and I have been watching The West Wing on our round two episodes, and we're coming up to the end of season four. And mm-hmm. yeah, there's one of those there which I can't say anything about. But no, you can't. I can't. Except, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, <laughs> revisit this topic with Catherine in a little while. Four more episodes, <laughs> depending on how slowly The West Sounds Wing really doles them out, and. Uh, she may have something new to add to the list. Yes. Well, I have a few that yeah. I can recall over the years. But, um, for example, the Dallas one was my first kind of big, you know, yeah. little JR. Well, then there was of, also the, the that had Bobby in the pain. shower. Was that on? Was that Dallas, too? That was part yeah. of. Wasn't that part of the, the Who Shot JR story? I believe I so. But it then just kind of yeah. completely yeah. Uh, ruined things for Knott's Landing, which then <laughs> had to kind of backtrack also. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. So that was kind of my first memorable kind of like, oh, yeah. shocker kind of thing. But most recently, well, it's not really recent because it was a couple of years ago. But I have to say that the plot twist in Dexter in which Julie dies. So Julie was his wife. Um, that was a huge mm. shocker. Like that was... I don't know if you are have or no, have seen that. But I've read about Probably it. Probably not, Terry. I'm guessing. I read about haven't. everything. I know. I know all the plot twists. Yeah. 
You know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I won't spoil it for listeners in case they have not watched Dexter, which is a, you know, I really enjoyed that um, TV series. But yeah, that was huh. a huge, huge shocker, I have to say. And I think most we should have a really okay. shocking ending for this episode, so. but I don't think we know. <laughs> I know. Unfortunately, I don't. So I'm just going to say <laughs> that's it for today's speed round. Come back Monday for our much longer group chat and visit parentingroundabout.com for all our weekly episodes. Hey, before you speed off from the speed round, please consider listening to all our podcast episodes, short and long, on the Radio Public app. It costs you nothing, and we get a little change for every listen. Thanks for the support.